Welcome to The Heat Check. I am your host, Jacques Slade, and this week is crazy when it comes to releases from Jordan to Adidas to New Balance to Air Max. It's all there and there's a lot of fire in the mix. Let's start with some love from Nike on the Air Force One. As most of you know, Nike has that contract with the NBA and they're putting out some footwear to go along with jerseys. First, there are two Air Force One highs in the statement colorway. Those will cost you $100 when they drop tomorrow. And then there's also a total of eight Air Force One lows that are dropping in a bunch of different team colorways. And those are $100 as well. These have the larger than life swoosh in case you missed it. And they give the Air Force One a bit of a new look for 2017. All right, switching up to the three stripes. Adidas has the Crazy Explosive dropping in a gray colorway. As I've said before, the Crazy Explosive is one of my favorite shoes to play in in 2017. And if you haven't had these on, you should definitely give them a go. Those will cost you 150 and you can grab those over at finish line. Quickly flipping the sport from basketball to skating, Nike is dropping the SB Dunk High Pro in a very familiar colorway. If you are an SB fan, you'll instantly recognize that these are the Danny Super Dunks in a, but in a high top form. Uh, taking inspiration from those New York City basketball courts, these will cost you $110 when they drop on Thursday. All right, getting back to the Air Force One, if you're looking for a luxury version of the shoe, Nike's collaboration with Ricardo Tichy continues to grow with the Air Force One High in black and in white. Instead of just throwing a colorway on these, Ricardo put together a full theme for the shoes and it's called the Minotaurs and these two Air Force Ones go right along with that team. You can expect those to drop in a super limited numbers on Thursday for $275. All right, switching from basketball to lifestyle, Adidas is dropping the Aniki Runner for women in raw pink and in tactile green. Personally, I feel like the Aniki Runner is one of the most slept on shoes this year and should definitely be getting more love. Ladies can grab those on Friday for 120. If you're looking for one of my favorites, the Vapor Max, Nike Sportswear has a pair dropping in a triple noir colorway or triple black as they say in the streets. I really do love this shoe and think it's gonna be a problem at the end of the year. Continuing to celebrate Latino Heritage Month, Nike has a special version of the Air Jordan 1 dropping on Friday. Created by San Paulo, Brazil artist Pome, the shoe takes inspiration from Latino history, richness, and diverse culture. The official nickname for the shoe is the Toro Noso, which means it's all ours, mine's, and yours, and you can grab those for $160. All right, Halloween is just around the corner, and if you have a little one that loves foam posits, then the Nike Little Posit One Vamp Posit is dropping on Friday as well. Uh, the shoe takes inspiration from vampires and will cost you 180. Keeping with the grade school crowd, a really cool Nike Air Force One is dropping called the Full Moon. As you can see, the shoe features a furry liner, which is inspired by wolves and seems to have a bit of a nod to Halloween as well. Those will cost you $95. Jumping ahead to Saturday, Nike is dropping the Flax Pack, which features a ton of classic Nike sportswear silhouettes from basketball and running, covered in a flax colorway and those gum outsole. These have definitely made their way around the internet and look really great depending on the model you pick up. I've seen the Air Force Max, that one will cost you $100. The Air Max 90 Ultra, that'll cost you $130. Then there's the Air Max 1 Premium, that one will cost you $110. And then there's actually a few more of those as well, and all those will be available to you on Saturday morning over at Finish Line. On the Adidas side of things, they're dropping two colorways of the NMD R2 for both women and men. The women are getting a legend ink in gray colorway while the men get trace khaki in core black. Whether you get the women's or the men's version of the shoe, expect to pay $130 when they drop. I don't often talk about collaborations on this show, but New Balance has a pretty cool collab with New Era coming out this weekend. The collab contains the 574S Sport and the 5950 cap, and the pricing is said to be right around $150. You can grab those over at Finish Line on Saturday morning. On the Jordan side of things, there are two versions of the Air Jordan 12 dropping. The grade school crowd is getting a deadly pink colorway of the shoe that mixes in just a little bit of black. Those will cost you 140. For those in the regular sizes, the Air Jordan 12 Bordeaux is dropping. Now these were previewed earlier in the year and they really do look fantastic. The colorway on these really pops and puts that Air Jordan 12 in a new light in my opinion. You can grab those for 190 when they drop on Saturday over at Finish Line. All right, as with every week, I didn't cover everything that's dropping this weekend, but I just wanted to point out the things that I thought you guys would definitely be, be paying attention to. And with that being said, I literally just found out that there are a few other kicks dropping tomorrow, like the PSNY Air Jordan 15 is gonna be releasing this weekend, as well as Chris Stapp Porzingis' Adidas Crazy Explosive PE will be dropping as well. That I know that was a lot of info, so I'm gonna end this show. I'm Jacques Slade, this is the Heat Check presented by Finish Line, and as always, guys, I appreciate you, and I'll see you soon. Have a great weekend. Peace.